right here this is the mclaren senna just before i tell you the coolest features on this car a massive thank you to lg it's companies like you who support my channel that makes all of this possible this is the new lg velvet smartphone now it looks and feels premium, but it's only $600. The difference to over $1,000 devices in the market is the unnecessary specs average users don't normally need, but it's also equipped with the features that you do need. It has the tapered pole LED display on the edges and it gives it a sleek and light feel in your hand, right? It's very light. And I love this touch on the nature inspired raindrop camera design. You see that? compared to the ugly cameras you get on other smartphones. You know what I'm talking about. Design is just as important with a phone as it is with a car. Second thing I love is the 6.8 inch pole LED display. It's massive. It is super bright and has more vibrant colors. It also has a dual case. It doubles your screen so you can run different apps on each screen or you can use it as a control panel for games. I love this. Look at this. The Velvet has three rear cameras and one front-facing one with advanced software that takes great photos in low light. You see this? It also has all the cool features like photo and audio bokeh, slow-mo, time-lapse, AMSR recording and 4K recording. Currently, I have audio bokeh off and that means you're going to hear more background noise. Now, I'm going to turn it on and that means that the background noise will be more drowned out and you'll be able to focus more on my voice. All right, let me show you around this incredible car. Let's go. Look at this. So on this key fob, you press this button right here and all the lights turn on. I love that. Off, on. It's such a little thing, but it's a thing that a lot of cars don't have. In fact, this is my McLaren 720S key and it does not have the lights on button it actually has the pop the trunk button so i love that feature on this now guys this is if you haven't already recognized it the incredible mclaren senna A massive thank you to VIP Motors here in Dubai. That's them. They have lent me this car today to show you guys on the Supercar Blondie channel. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure to join the family. We are growing very, very quickly and we have so many cool cars to show you. And smash the like button right now for me. It helps me so much. Thank you guys. All right, now, this is really, really cool. I have not seen this before on any car. There is a secret compartment right here. Now, how do you access it? There are no buttons anywhere right to be found so if you didn't know about this you would never know that there is something right here you kind of slide your hand up push and voila look at this this gives you access to the oil things like uh, the windscreen wiper fluid here but there's no boot space exactly so this car actually has no boot whatsoever boot trunk whatever you want to call it this car does not have one zilch nothing there is no storage in this car that's all you get one of the things i love about this car it is optional is this right here this is a see-through door panel now if we open this up this is how you open the center door like this You can actually see straight through the door panel and the purpose of this is really to give you more visibility around the car. Coming around to this wing, this is obviously one of the most prominent features on the car. It is massive. I mean, on wing scales, this just blows everything out of the water. Like the GT2 RS Porsche, I think that one has a big wing. This is even bigger than that. This actually weighs five kilos, you guys, but What's interesting is it can hold a hundred times its weight. All the panels you see, right? There's a lot of panels everywhere. There's panels here, there's wings here, there's inlets, outlets, there's divots, there's holes, there's, uh, there's a lot going on, right? 
The reason for that is because this car was designed specifically for performance, the best performance possible on the racetrack. So they didn't actually think of design first, they thought functionality first. All right, so my little sister Kate is here. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you will have known that I've actually got my little sister over in Dubai. And she's come to join the Supercar Blondie team. So she is working with us at the moment. So this is Kate and um, she doesn't talk. Hi guys, so <laughs> nice to meet you all. I'm so excited to be here helping yeah. out. So, so we're going to hear Kate's opinion on some cars in the future. Now Kate comes from uh, a non-carish background. What car do you drive at home in Sydney? Uh, I drove the VW Polo. Yeah, so she's so got the a smallest car. <laughs> <laughs> so a little VW Polo, which is a nice car actually. It's a good car. It's a good car. What do you think of this car? I mean, look. Would you go Vida Polo or would you go the McLaren? I'm not sure. I'll have to check out some of its features first. <laughs> Definitely the Polo. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Thanks, Kate. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Get out of the shot. No. God, she's always hogging the shot now, you know? Oh, I have to send her back on a plane to Sydney. Seriously. Just stick your hand in and there's a little click. And it's a very light door. That does not take much effort at all to open up. You've actually got the plate here. This is how special this car is. This will tell you what number Senna you have out of 500. So this is 112. This was the 112th Senna to roll off the factory line. And if you were lucky enough to get one of the first 500 from McLaren, it was a starting price of $1 million. Now, if you're to be sold a McLaren Senna on the second hand market, you're looking anything from 1.2 million which is what this one is going for up to two million dollars for this car so some people are actually treating this as an investment right let's get in now these bucket seats you guys are super tight like they wrap around you like nothing else look how far out these bucket seats come now all of these features again are made for racing. So this is really gonna keep you in place when you're going around the track, right? What you can do though, is if you're a bit bigger than I am in the shoulders, you can request bigger bucket seats. Look at this. Now you've got all of your dials here, right? Now watch what happens. I actually can move the seat forward manually with this lever. Everything's manual to keep it light. And oh my goodness, is that light. Wow, that is super light. And look what happens when you move it. The whole center console here moves with you. And I really, really love that. So the start stop button is actually right here. And I love it when they have switches on the roof. It just gives it that extra cool factor. If something malfunctions with the door opening latch, which is up here, right? You can actually do that manually. You can pull this and the door will open just in case. So that's nice to have kind of a backup, especially if you're in a racing environment. All right, let's take it for a spin. This one right here has very, very, very low mileage. So I'm gonna only just test it around here. This comes out and up to give you more of a display. Okay, this is how you close the door. All right, can you, can you see in here? All right, you press race. Do not use this mode on the public roads. So this mode is specifically for the track. The car actually lowers by four centimeters as well when you're in race mode. Now, it's actually going to count down like a computer game until it clicks into race mode. Here we go, here we go. Look at this. Now it's counting down like a game. We're 10%, 20. Okay, it's gonna lower, it's gonna lower. We're 90%. I cannot tell you like how to the ground you can literally feel everything in my 720s i feel like i can feel everything in that car but this is on a different level right zero to 100 in this car in 2.8 seconds you guys it's got a four liter twin turbo v8 and it pumps out almost 800 horsepower when you're driving this slowly in it 
it doesn't feel that great to be honest with you it's not meant to be really driven on the roads it's meant as a track car so this car i can't drive that far but i got to have a really good drive of a mclaren center when i was in houston up massive thank you to vip motors here in dubai for lending us this car so we can have a bit of a closer look at it that's it i think we're out <laughs>